As you are, many of you are graduating or graduated, you leave many memories, wonderful memories of friends, learning, experiences in this university, in this place. This a place like this becomes like a home and you, it becomes a part of you. And some years will go by and you'll have a job and get married and be busy and other things. And one day you decide to come and visit back, right? To just, just for memory's sake, you come back to visit the university and you'll see the, the walls are the same Right, the restaurant is the same. The place you used to hang out with your friends is the same. The place you used to make your wudu is the same. But all the faces are different. Nobody remembers you. This is all amazing, but not for you. It's for somebody else. It's you've been replaced completely. You're no longer madhkur. Even in this this notion of moving forward with our lives, we leave things behind in which we no longer get. A teacher might barely remember you. They look at you like, you were in my class, right? They're like. I thought I was your favorite. No, no, I have many favorites. You're not that favorite. <laughs> I barely remember your name. Abdul Karim? No, no, it's Zubair. Oh, yeah, yeah, I said Zubair. Oh, you're not, you're not going to be remembered. And so, I and you have to make a decision. As you're leaving the school, as you're graduating, you're thinking about a job, you're thinking about a career, you're thinking about the next chapter of your life. Every one of those chapters has to have one title. How will Allah remember this? How will Allah remember this? I know when you're getting a job, what will my mother say? What will my father say? What are people going to say? How much am I getting paid? Where did I get the apartment? Am I, I going to get this? Am I going to get that? Who's, you, know, you have all these questions about prestige and acknowledgement and being madhkur in society. First, if you can just put on top, how will Allah remember this? What impact am I leaving behind? And am I leaving behind something that can continue to make me be remembered by Allah Azza wa Jal? If I'm doing that, then I have succeeded. You know, I leave you with this because you, you know, we, we are now so addicted to the idea that if people don't see your success, then you're not successful. If people don't see your success, you're not successful. Okay? So somebody might call me and say, hey, you're pretty successful. How did you become successful? And I ask the question, how do you think I became successful? What's my success? Oh, you have so many followers. You have so many million viewers. That's why you're successful. And I say, SubhanAllah, how far from the Qur'an we have come. How far from it we have come. You know, Nuh alayhi salam had almost no followers. He had no followers. And he didn't have any followers for a really long time. In fact, if you ask most people about Nuh alayhi salam in his own village, people would make fun of him. Oh, that old man? This is crazy. I, this, is what he, this is what he experienced for centuries. And the only one who remembers that struggle, no historian wrote down that struggle. No documentation exists. Some people wrote down about the story of Nuh salam so he could be remembered. No, no, no. Allah recorded it. And Allah made him mathkur. When Ibrahim salam was in the desert by himself making dua that Allah make this house a peaceful place and put the love in, in people's hearts towards this, this house There was no video camera There was no live streaming There was nothing happened There was nobody there It was just a man in the desert this is just him and his God talking He's not a king He's not a wealthy man He's not, He doesn't have scribes that can write down this history You know in the Egyptian palaces You find records of the kings and their decrees And writing on the walls we don't even know who they were. We just remember some, they paid some people to write on the walls. Nobody's writing anything down for Ibrahim alayhi salam. And yet today, we, here we are doing dhikr of Ibrahim alayhi salam every hajj season. We remember his legacy. And we call our entire religion Millata Abikum Ibrahim. What am I trying to get at? Yes, human beings were made ghayr madhkur. We were made not remembered for most of history. Yes, we have very little time in this world. And in that time, after that time, we might become Ghayr Mathkur. You might even become Ghayr Mathkur at IIUM next year. <laughs> that might happen to you. So that's the reality of my life and your life. In fact, even if you do a lot of good for someone, a year later they'll forget. They'll say, what did you ever do for me? They don't remember. You're not remembered. The only one with whom you will be forever Mathkur is going to be Allah Azza wa Jal. And the opposite of remembrance is forgetfulness. So Allah says, to some people he says today we are forgetting you like you forgot this day we have a choice 
we want to be the people that are forgotten by Allah and remembered by people, or we want to be the people that are remembered by Allah no matter what people think. May Allah make us those that are truly remembered by Allah Azza wa Jal and given that drink on judgment.